Backwards compatibility has yet again caused another stir in our community, this time with the announcement of Call of Duty 4, the original Modern Warfare game, being backwards compatible on Xbox One. So usually when this type of thing happens and you check up on your favorite YouTubers, they'll just basically be reporting the news telling you this game is now backwards compatible. But with the last few titles that came to backwards compatibility, no one's really offered an explanation as to why this might be happening. And I think I have a pretty interesting theory that I wanted to share with you guys today. So first, just a quick recap for those who were completely out of the loop. As of right now, as of April of 2018, Every single Call of Duty title is backwards compatible except for Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. And the common theory for this before was, well, they're probably going to remaster these games at some point, which is a plausible theory. I, I personally think that that is going to happen too. But what if there's something else going on behind the scenes that we are not aware of? I think with kind of a curveball like COD 4 becoming backwards compatible like it is now, you gotta think outside the box a little bit. It's no longer this idea of... The Modern Warfare games will never be backwards compatible because they're being remastered. Well, COD 4 was already remastered and it became backwards compatible after that. So what does that say to you? Here's what it says to me. Activision is trying to consolidate this player base. Now why would they want to be doing this? You might think something like, well, anyone who wants to be playing Call of Duty 4, the original, is probably playing it already, and there's no reason to try to entice others to keep playing it too. And while this is a pretty rational thing to think, we don't know what goes on behind the scenes at Activision or why they make the decisions that they make. And while I hate to even entertain the thought of something as depressing as I'm about to say, I fear that they might be testing the demand for this game to decide whether or not they should shut the servers off for good. Think about it. This game was just remastered just over a year ago and there's a brand new version of it updated and it looks great and I think a lot of people are really happy with it. And while we don't have the exact player numbers of that game, if I were a betting man, I would have to bet that they are higher than the original COD 4. So if you have an HD remake of one of the most classic games of all time and it's got people playing it and the old version is practically a ghost town, haha, and not to mention it's hacked beyond all belief, why would you keep the old one open? I mean, COD 4 is completely playable, but still, you gotta think how much effort it would actually take to get all those hackers off of there, and even after that, it's not gonna increase the player count at all. You know, the, the, the game has seen its glory days, it's past its prime, and it's never gonna go back. So why bother to keep it running? You know what I mean? I mean, this game is not bringing in any revenue nowadays. Maybe a few people will still buy copies here and there just for old time's sake, but the game doesn't have microtransactions, and surely no one is buying any DLC at this point. There's no real post-launch revenue for this game. But for Modern Warfare Remastered, there is. Even if you don't believe it, because me, I have never spent a single dollar on any supply drops or any COD points or anything in MWR, or let alone any COD for that matter. But just because I'm not doing it and you're not doing it, doesn't mean there aren't people out there who are. So if you were the business owner, which would you keep open? The old hacked game that barely has anybody playing it that's not bringing in any money at all, or the brand new HD remake with better anti-cheat technology that's still fresh and new for some people and has an active player base. You know, these servers are expensive to maintain and keep running. And at this point, I can only speculate that the cost is surely outweighing any revenue brought in by COD 4. And even though there's money still being brought in by Call of Duty as a franchise with the newer games, Activision might just decide, hey, the money that we're using to keep these servers running could better be used somewhere else. And so they might make it so you could play this game on Xbox One now, but in the background, they're gonna be monitoring the player count and monitoring all the activity on it, and ultimately be deciding the fate of not only one of the greatest shooters of all time, but just one of the greatest games of all time. This could be it. It could be the last ditch effort to get people on the game, and if they don't come, they might have to make that decision. And honestly, I'm kind of afraid that this could happen with World at War as well, because World at War has the lowest player count of all Call of Duties. On a typical day, there's between 400 and 800 people online at any time, and COD 4 is currently somewhere in the 1500 range. And that brings me to my next point about Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Those games have a few thousand people playing at any given time. I played Modern Warfare 3 on the 360 not too long ago, and I saw over 3,000 people on. So I think those games are in the safe zone for a while, if this is what they're doing. And if it is, a few thousand people is more than enough to have them keep the servers open. And therefore, there's not a need to, quote, consolidate the player base to try to see how many people People will actually still play. So in addition to the remaster talk about those two games, which I think is going to happen, at the same time, it could be very likely that they just don't feel the need to try and consolidate that player base and get everybody on again who is going to ever come back on. But I don't know, man, when it comes to COD 4 and World at War, you know, 400 to 1,000 to 1,500 players, it, it just kind of scares me because I feel like they're just thinking maybe it's time to throw them in the towel on these ones.
What do you all think? I don't know, man. I mean, I, I really don't want to believe something like this, but I just can't help but think the worst when it comes to COD 4 and backwards compatibility. It's completely out of the blue, it's out of nowhere, it's already been remastered, I mean, why bother doing this? You know, nobody's asking for COD 4 to be backwards compatible. You look at those lists and all those votes, everyone wants MW2 and MW3. I don't know, to me it just seems like a play completely out of nowhere out of left field. And although, in reality, it might just be a play to get people to stop playing Fortnite and stop playing other games, it still just gives me a little bit of a funny feeling. I want to know your thoughts. We need to talk about this. Ease my mind. Tell me I'm crazy. Tell me this could never be true and I'm just wearing a tinfoil hat here. Please. You know the deal, guys. Drop it down in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up on it as it really helps the channel out. Big thanks to all the regulars here on the channel. Y'all know who you are, so thank you so much as always for all your support. I can never repay you guys. And if you're new around here and you want to subscribe, make sure you turn on your notifications because apparently you need to do that now because YouTube is just horrible lately. It's sad but true. What are we going to do? We just got to deal with it. Lastly, you guys can expect a stream sometime this week. I'm not exactly sure which day yet, but the best way to know when that's going to happen is to follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description down below. So make sure you follow me on there and I'll be tweeting out when we're streaming and what time. And please, by all means, if you haven't joined us on stream yet, please do so. You won't regret it. Guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.